Prosim. Today I'm making a gourmet variation of mansaf, an Arab dish made of lamb, rice, and yogurt. The original Bedouin mansaf was traditionally served in a large platter and eaten by hand. My mansaf has quite similar flavors but is very different. The lamb is cooked in a sous vide technique inside a vacuum bag. The rice is replaced with a local roasted grain called friki, and instead of yogurt, I use pecorino romano, a hard Italian cheese. We're in the Arab town of Meilia, located in the northern Galilee district of Israel. It's a very ancient town, home to a population of Melkit Greek Catholics. During the 12th century, this place was a crusader castle built by King Baldwin III, who ruled the whole northern district from here. Archaeological digs that took place here found remains of the largest winery dating back to crusader times. When excavations dug deeper, they found relics from the Roman period. My family and I have dedicated more than 17 years to preserving and renovating this space. It's our life's work. In the beginning, we weren't sure what it'll turn into, but as we walked the journey, we realized it should be a boutique hotel and restaurant. <laughs> I was born in the town of Meilia, but have been living for many years in Italy, where I have my own restaurant. On one of my trips to Israel, I visited this place and fell in love. Salma and I joined forces and opened an authentic Italian trattoria. The ingredients are shipped from Italy, but in some dishes, I use local delicacies from the Galilee. Just like in art, there are no boundaries in the kitchen. Both the Italian and the Middle Eastern cuisines have Mediterranean influences, and sometimes I fuse them. Having said that, my cooking is always based on the real, authentic Italian cuisine. I'm a Italian cuisine.